You were sounding great. You were sounding great. I tell you what, let's sing us another song together. There's a great story behind this song. I was talking to Dave just before I came on about this one. So, with your kind indulgence, I'll tell you the story behind this. 1961. Let's go back to 61. It seems an awful lot of good things happened. Bob Dylan went to New York City for the very first time. One of the first people that he met was a guy who was my own personal hero, Liam Clancy from the Clancy Brothers. Liam was maybe about five years older than Dylan, and he'd been in the city for a fair wee bit of time. So he knew his way around. And he literally took Dylan, and he showed him around. And Bob Dylan talks about all of these things in his book, and it's well documented. But Liam said to him, you're named after the poet, aren't you? Uh, aye, Dylan Thomas. You know, they both spoke in Scottish accents, obviously. So, aye, Dylan Thomas. So Liam says, would you like to go to the place where Dylan Thomas committed suicide? <laughs> so Bob says, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I think he's about 19 or 20 at this point. So Liam Clancy takes him to a place called the White Horse Tavern in Greenwich Village, and it's still there. And up on the wall, there was a big portrait, and there still is a big portrait of Dylan Thomas. And to this day, students and lovers of literature and lovers of poetry go to pay homage. Because this was where he'd been told by his doctors, he said, Mr. Thomas, if you drink any more, you will die. So he took himself down to the White Horse Tavern and he sat at the bar and he ordered up 35 whiskies. And slowly and methodically and surely, he drank every one of them. He made it to the door where he collapsed and died. But that's the way for a Celtic point to die. <laughs> and then he took him into the back room and in the back room there was this huge big table and there's pictures of this on the internet and this was where the Clancy brothers and Tommy Maycomb held their sessions and round that table you would find the young Pete Seeger and later the, obviously the young Bob Dylan Tom Paxton, Phil Oakes, Odetta all of them would sit there and join in with these sessions and there was two other people who I maybe know as well known but they gave help to give birth to this next song that I'm going to sing Thank God for that, you see. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> but there was a guy called Theodore Bikel who used to sit and sing folk songs from all over the world in the language that they, were, they originated in. And he used to sing this Russian melody, which is part of what I'm going to do. And there was another guy called Jean Raskin, I think it was. He was part of a cabaret duo. And he remembered this tune. And years later, after all these people, some of them had gone on to become famous, some had gone on to make a living, some had gone on to do nothing. He thought back to all the times that they had in the White Horse Tavern. And he looked back and he wrote this song. And it was meant for Liam Clancy to sing. But before Liam could get to sing it, a fella called Paul McCartney heard the, the writer doing it in a wee club. And he bought the rights for it, and he put it on a song he was about to produce for a young girl from Wales called Mary Hopkin. You with me? Yes. You with me now? Yes. So for years, Liam couldn't sing it for some copyright reason, but eventually did get to sing it, and it became the last song on the last album that the Clancy's ever made, and it was the song that he closed the show with every night. So folks, I'm going to love to sing this song for you tonight in memory of all the great nights we've had in this room on May Day, and in memory of all the great nights we're going to have and all the May Day still to come. Those were the days, my friend. Those were the days. Join in on the chorus. Once upon a time there was a tavern where we used to raise a glass or two Remember how we laughed away the hours And we dreamed up all the great things we would do Those were the days, my friend We thought they'd never end We sing and dance Forever and today We live the life we choose We fight and never lose For we were young and sure Of our way Singing, but nice if you clap your hands the next time. Isn't it? <laughs> then the busy years went rushing by us, <laughs> and 
we lost our starting notions on the way. And if by chance we'd meet outside the tavern, then we'd smile at one another and we'd say, Those were my days, my friend. Yeah, we thought they'd never end. We sing and dance forever and a day. We live the life we choose. We fight and never lose. For we were young and short. And are we? La 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 this is a sad verse. Just tonight, I stood outside the tavern, but nothing was the way it used to be. And in the glass, I saw that strange reflection. Was that lonely fella really me? <laughs> Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We live a life we choose. We fight and never lose. Are we more young and short? A little bit of audience participation in this next piece. Then through the door I heard familiar laughter. Hello, <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Come on, through the door I heard familiar laughter. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. So you saw your face and I heard you call my name. Oh, my friends, my friends, we are older, but no wiser. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? For in our hearts, in our hearts, the dreams are still the same. For all the good times you've had, in your own head, picture the good times. Sing together, raise the roof. Those were the days, my friends. Never end. We sing and dance, clap forever and today. Come on now, you're singing it. We live the life we choose. We fight and never lose. For we are young and short. And our way, la 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 la